Which makes sense to me. And I'm then sorry, Square Enix kind of. Kingdom Hearts doesn't belong on Xbox. It never had an Xbox. Before. It doesn't. it doesn't. It's it's so stupid. I'm just like, wait, you uh, wait, is this real? This can't. It's real. What the fucking awesome. shit? But to be fair. All right, guys. Final awesome. level. This one's gonna take up like half the night. This this this. Uh, is this one the longest? Yeah, this is the longest by far. Like, I would say this is the other four missions combined. Uh, my, but I was gonna say the whole like cross console thing. I had the same argument with Metal Gear Solid 5. Why is this not an Xbox console? Well, I can see from a financial standpoint they want to sell as many copies as possible, but you have the entire series, only one game was on an Xbox console, and that was Metal Gear Solid 2 Substance. But you know, they're, they're allowed to design the same argument for all the Metal Gears. What's that? You make the exact same argument for all the Metal Gears. Yeah, but I'm saying is they released one on the Xbox, not three, not one, only two could open the Xbox. Four never came on the Xbox. And then, because the game was too big, they didn't want to release a six-disc game on, on the Xbox 360. I get that I get that argument, but it's like, you're releasing sequels to games and big franchises on consoles that don't have the followings. It'd be like saying, oh, we're going to make Halo 6 multi-platform now. Why? You know? It, it, it's, it's about, look, it's, it's all about business sense. It doesn't, like, you know... Uh, or maybe it, or maybe it's that easy to develop for the platforms that they're like, hey, you know what? We have like ten minutes. Let's port it to Xbox One. But if they do that, if they do that, then you can literally do that with anything else. Yeah. Hey, remember, Mass Effect was Mass Effect Two was the first Xbox game that came out on PS3. Nobody was in there complaining. Oh no, stupid PS3 people won't be able to, you know, know what happened. It's like they figured it out. You can do that. It's, you know, licensing deals and shit change. But it did release on the PS3. Eventually. Yeah, like, years after. towards the end of a lifespan. I'm really upset about that, though, because they're like, great, all these guys on 360 have this game that you carry over from the first story over. We're stuck with starting out with two. That's kind of crappy, because not everybody has full consoles. Yeah, people like me, I own all the consoles. Other people don't. They can't afford multiple consoles. And yet you, you know what? They can look at that shit up. That's like saying that. That's like saying that you shouldn't allow that, that you shouldn't allow people to go see, you know, the next uh, the next Avengers movie if they haven't seen all of the previous Marvel films. Well, that's they like, shouldn't. They should. That's the stupidest shit I've ever heard. Why would you want to do that? It's like, okay, you know, it doesn't matter. matter. I haven't seen Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. I've never seen a Harry Potter film in my life. Who are all these people? Okay, what? you know, again, it doesn't matter. Those people are going to be confused, and that's fine. You know, if they find them, if they if they look at it and say, wow, I am really fucking confused, but this is cool, they'll go home and watch the other ones. You know? That's, 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 a, like, that's like reading the, like, the last thing of, like, the, of, like you're just bitter, like, I'm kind of interested in Naruto. Oh, let me read the very first last chapter of Naruto. Oh! and skip to the last chapter when they buy a new book, okay? There is room for all types. Well, they not, the argument, though, they want, they say they want to go back. They say they do that, they want to go back. They can't afford all these old consoles or other consoles. They want to play them, but they can't. Because they have to buy another console to play them. Like, like I said, the argument with Metal Gear, if you want to play the old ones, you have to buy a PlayStation 3 and buy the, the Legacy Pack. Unless, you don't have to uh, play. The you can't, only way you can do it the only way you can do it is just watch like like those people on YouTube that just be playing yeah, through. Yeah, I, I get that, but people actually want to play these games. So you're drop, you're drop, you're putting franchise entries on consoles that have no follow. It would be different if they actually released the Kingdom Hearts collection on the Xbox One. I'm like, okay, cool. Now Xbox fans get a chance to catch up on the story themselves and enjoy the games. Well, yeah. Originally, I thought they were going to do that, but then it's like, oh, it's then I found out they're not doing it. I'm just like, wait, yeah. what? Which is dumb. I, Oh, I, I think your I think your logic assumes that people are just immediately loyal to the first console and that com and, the, and that company that they buy and will never and, and can never switch over, which is just the dumbest of fallacies. I'm sorry. Come, come, come it's not way. only is it the dumbest of fallacies, but it's also kind of untrue. Of course because it's untrue. think of people all the 360 all people who went PlayStation after the Xbox One fiasco. Like, look, I, look, I bought the Xbox One. I barely used the damn thing. It was probably not a wise purchase. 
But you know what? I'm fine. It's like, you know, I didn't buy it because I owed Microsoft something. Because I owned an Xbox. No, 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 no. no one's talking about owing anybody anything. But there are loyalists out there that stick to one thing, only one thing. And those people are lunatics. They do it. They're oh, lunatics. I, we, we know one. We know a lunatic. We know a lunatic, and his name is, and his name is uh, Cameron. He's a loyalist. I'm loyal to only one thing. Hey man, you know, I don't I can't control how my sibling how my siblings act, alright? Whatever. <laughs> but 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 do you dis but do you disagree with me that Cameron's not a loyalist? Yeah, he's totally a loyalist because oh, he, he built a PC what and then just went straight back to Xbox. Wait a minute, yeah, you know what? Whatever. People, let people have have fun however the hell they like as long as don't hurt nobody else, you know? What, what, what is Cameron? Oh no, Cameron doesn't use the PlayStation. Does this affect me in any way? Wait, let me think. No? Okay then. <laughs> uh, like I said, I'm just saying there are loyalists out there. They do bitch and fit about it. It's not as bad now as it was. You gotta remember, man, people who bought a regular Xbox, they went straight to the Xbox 360. They didn't jump ship and go to PS3 or PS3. PS3 struggled because of its horrible, you know, Horrible pricing structures when it launched. I remember that. Yeah, I, I didn't get one until they entered, until like they introduced the slim model and cut the price in half. It's like, oh cool! Now I can go play all these awesome, all these I now I can go play Infamous and Ratchet and Clank and all the other games I wanted to play but couldn't because it's unreasonable. <laughs> Stop it's about time they find out their price. I think. Uh, but yeah, it's you know there there were loyalists left and right. It's not as bad as it used to be. Like you got Nintendo loyalists, people who only played. I mean, come on, ADGN is a perfect example. He stuck with just Nintendo for the longest time until he finally, after N64 came out, he's like, wow, this is what the games I'm missing out on. 